Hi, this is Lynn Suzek. I've just, uh, I put on my reading glasses to help me, uh, relieve any strain. Um, okay, so I've done this on a blog before and it's, um, it's for me as much as anyone else because I'm just going to go right into this. This is about taking the Lord's Supper, um, communion, the Lord's table. Um, it's scriptural to take, to remind ourselves of what Jesus did for us because we so easily forget things. So, um, 1, 1 Corinthians 11, 28 through 32. This is so backwards in church. I know. I It's just like, what? Um I grew up in a in the Catholic Church and they teach you to take the Lord's Supper um examining yourself as basically unworthy. And it says here let me just read it. Wherever, um, wherefore, whosoever eat, shall eat this bread and drink this cup in the, of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. And let a man examine himself. So let him eat and drink the bread, I mean, eat of the bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily Eat and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the, body, the Lord's body. Well, for this cause, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. Okay. So, I'm going to start with why are many and many sick and weak among us, and many have died? We all want to know that, and here's the answer. Well, how have we? How have we? caused, I mean, drink. some people like avoid taking the Lord's Supper because we don't want to do it unworthily. Well, whether you do it or not, you're, if you're thinking of yourself, how many people talk about nobody's perfect? It's a constant, supposedly humble thing to say. And when you Examine yourself as unworthy because you've sinned. You're examining yourself as unworthy and not discerning correctly that Jesus made you clean, made you washed in the blood, made you perfect in Christ, made you righteous, gave you, I mean, how often do we reflect on that we're righteous? Church isn't helping. They're constantly drawing attention to sin and teaching you, basically ripping off that robe of righteousness, reminding you that you're a sinner, ripping off your, if you even have, the, um, it's a, um, breastplate of righteousness you're supposed to have on so if you're dealing with sickness or disease or disability we probably don't have this in our heart that we're righteous because it feels wrong to say that because and believe me this is not this is hard on the pride actually to say you're perfect in Christ because every time a person wants to consider themselves pleasing to the Lord they want to believe that they've done something to deserve it the more you focus on Jesus making you righteous the more correct you are the more humble you are but to keep and to keep saying I'm righteous I'm worthy in Christ is to bring health into your body. Um, I 
have to laugh because if we would judge ourselves in verse 30, no, 31, basically if you judge yourself correctly, which is to say that you're, um, righteous we would not be judged with the world how do you not be judged as sinful with the world by judging yourself correctly as being in Christ and righteous and you know when we take the Lord's table when we take the um, you know remind ourselves through taking of a cracker and wine or grape juice or whatever you want to use as reminding yourself what Jesus did not calling up all your sins so many people get healed by taking quote unquote the Lord's table but they're not getting healed unless they do it correctly. And if we don't keep reminding ourselves of our, are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Yes, I'm washed in the blood. If you don't keep admitting your righteousness through Christ your soul and your heart condemns you and if your heart condemns you God is greater than your heart so you have to keep reminding yourself to do do uh, do the Lord's table correctly it's so backwards in the church can see how why people are sick we're supposed to be judging ourselves as righteous in Christ not as sinners we're supposed to be examining ourselves and it's like sometimes you feel like couldn't it be a little clearer in scripture well it probably could be if we if we didn't interpret scriptures the way that they've been interpreted even in the King James I wonder sometimes because the, the legalism is there and it's hard to um, understand unless you've got the basic knowledge that you're you got to keep it um, calling yourself righteous and stop focusing on your sins no matter what keep reminding yourself and stop saying I'm not perfect nobody's perfect it's so backwards and that's why it says so if you're still weak and sick it's because you're not discerning correctly what Jesus did for you so that's where we need to focus focus on the blood being washed in the blood and the robe of righteousness and the um, and put on your I keep wanting to say shield it's um, our breastplate protect yourself from the lies of the enemy do it right and we will be completely, completely healed, I'm sure. This is telling us that we are not doing it right if we, if we um, are suffering, keep focusing on, I discern correctly the body of our Lord that he took on everything, even my, my um, disabilities the Lord took it all keep reminding yourself 
of who you are in Christ. And if you're going to a church where they're just constantly dishing out condemnation and guilt and focus on sin and ripping off your robe of righteousness and ripping off your breastplate of righteousness, then you're not feeding yourself what you need. So think about that. Thanks for joining me.